this is going to be an amazing year to me it is going to be the best year yet okay and i hope that you say the same thing for yourself so cheers New Year, New Me, that is something that we all say every time going into the new year, everybody would have a list of goals that, you know, a list of new things that we all want to do, which is really beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. But one thing that 2023 taught me was that you don't always have to have new goals for yourself. As an adult, sometimes you have goals that you carry into the new year. Now, if you've entered 2024 and you're still feeling unprepared, you're still feeling unsure, you don't know how you wanna go through this year, and make just generally make the year successful for yourself then I think this video is gonna be for you because in this video I'm gonna share with you a few things that I have personally learned okay let me tell you that 2023 it was a teacher type of year for me so these are things that I have personally learned that I feel like if you carry into this new year or if you practice this year you're going to have a successful year you're going to have a flourished type 2024 okay I have my glass of Moscato. I am a Moscato type of girl. So cheers, I know I already said cheers, but again, cheers. It's a new year, so why not, okay? So my, the very first thing that I want to say is, and I think that you guys have seen this all over social media, is standing on business, okay? We are going to stand on business. We're going to stand on business. And when I say that with my chest, I'm not even telling lies. And that standing on business term obviously has become very popularized in 2024 but it's a term that literally just means that showing up in every aspect of your life okay and when i say showing up in every aspect of your life doing everything that you said that you would do that is one habit that i feel like everybody needs to carry into every literally every year you know when i say that showing up in every aspect of your life or saying everything that you say that you do is just becoming a woman of your words or a man of your words when you say that you do something do it when you say that you're going to show up for someone or something actually do show up whatever you say back it up with action and that's one thing that you want to do in 2024 because words don't mean anything to me right now action means everything and that's even to myself as a person okay this is not even just like things that i say that i would do for people or things that i say that i would do outside of myself but even for myself when i say that i would do something i have to show up for myself action means everything to me right now than words so that's one thing that i want you to do when you have a goal that you've written down actually work towards that goal if you have a plan actually work towards the plan whatever you say that you do every aspect of your life show up that's what 2023 taught me it taught me that once you decide to step up once you decide to actually want to show up in all the areas of your life you will flourish and it's so beautiful because you're intentional whenever you're showing up in these areas you're being intentional you know what you're doing you know what your time is going into you know what you're putting your time into is what i meant to say stand on business that's my first point okay stand on business okay now the next point that i'm going to say is is going into this new year you want to be goal oriented i know that this might be it, it might come across as oh yeah we all have goals and whatnot but sometimes we can just be walking and just be doing life i'm not even gonna lie especially if you have a nine to five job you can very easily forget your own personal goals like you can very easily forget that yourself you have things that you want to achieve and you can just very easily be swamped into you know paying bills and just living life and just going by the day which is okay i understand that because obviously with the way the world is going right now you have to live by the day you have to survive it makes so much sense but another thing is you definitely want to keep your mind on your goal even if you're working for someone you want to at least have a goal some sort of goal in mind what do i want 
want to do for myself? How do I want to picture myself in the next five months? Do I still want to be doing this job? If I don't want to be doing this job, do I want to move to a different corporate environment where I see myself in a better position? Do I want to move into something that is for myself? You want to have some sort of goal. You want to have some fire pushing you. And that's one thing that I'm going to talk about. Don't go into this year with just low energy and just going with the day it's okay because again here for me life can be so hard that sometimes you can't even think about goals sometimes you can't even think about okay what do i want to do for myself what do i want to achieve for myself which is okay okay but it's okay in the past year it's not 2024 i'm sorry like i am sorry my love like i am not going to allow you to wallow in self-pity this year it's not gonna happen okay have a few moments of pity have a few moments of um sadness of sorrow but know that there is a bigger picture ahead of you know that you're meant for a greater good so in with that just with that knowing with with that thoughts and everything you would have a goal that you work towards it doesn't matter how long it will get there i want you to have some sort of goal that you're working towards being goal oriented it can push you being goal oriented is the fire that you need so have some sort of goal have have a list of goals anything that works for you just make sure that you have something that you're working towards because with the way the world is going right now girl you don't want to just be going by the day it doesn't work like that okay now the next thing that i'm gonna say is you definitely want to review your goals as often as you can that's one thing that i am going to be doing this year that's one thing that i did last year that i feel like really helped me i was very conscious of my goals i was always like going back to check okay have i done that have i checked that off my list and i feel like that's something that i really want to do more of this year so um that's something that i'm obviously going to su suggest okay i uh, review your goals as much as you can have monthly goal review um, quarterly goal reviews whatever works for you whatever time frame works for you because I've said it before and I'm going to say it again your goals always have to have some sort of time frame time limit because I mean obviously not so much of a limit because life can happen sometimes but you always always want to put a certain level of like timing to the goals that you're setting for yourself it could be long-term goals it could be short-term goals but these short-term goals you definitely want to come back and revisit make sure that you're doing things right and if you if they don't go well that's when you can come back to the drawing board and ask yourself questions well why is this not going right well why, why am i not able to do this you know what i'm saying so you always want to visit these goals and make sure that i'm um, reviewing them you know you're just making sure that you're reviewing them and making sure that you're on the right path okay so definitely review your goals it's key it's something that i am going to be doing it makes you see the progress that you've done over time and it makes you see if there's anything that you want to change over the course of time so that is always key i would always say that and that's something that i feel like you know i'm excited to do to review some of my goals this year and just like you know make some hard decisions and whatnot because as a big girl sometimes you got to make the decisions for yourself okay so now the next thing that i'm going to say is which is something that i say almost every time okay is you want to set boundaries for yourself and i cannot scream boundaries enough boundaries place out in every aspect of our lives and the biggest part of you know my life that i want to start working on setting boundaries on is my finances so set boundaries whatever boundary you feel like you need to set and you know examples would be limiting the things that you spend on in terms of finances limiting people's access to you that's a huge boundary that you know obviously we have to set especially as african people we obviously have to do that at the highest peak and respectfully i always say that sets boundaries respectfully because sometimes they may come across as um, being rude or being disrespectful but that's not the case if you communicate your boundaries well they're understood they're respected 
and you know they're carried on so setting boundaries is key for me is one thing that i learned a lot about in 2023 and i definitely want to carry it on to 2024 and the next thing that i'm going to talk about is just generally prioritizing self-care and rest days it's very important to having um to have rest days because it helps with your mental health especially as a mom as you know a millennial just generally trying to figure out all these ups and downs of life you need to have some sort of rest days you need to have some sort of calendar block some times off your calendar that generally allows you to relax and breathe and not think about everything that you think about on a regular and just breathe and i want to do a lot more of that this year and i want to you know preach that because also with the way the world is going it's very fast paced right now everybody is so focused on achieving the next biggest goal or just doing the next biggest thing and you know paying the next bill it makes sense because that's just where the world is at right now but also if we don't relax if we don't breathe we'll just die <laughs> i'm not even kidding if we don't breathe we'll just get out of this earth not achieving nothing so take it from me relax sometime give yourself rest days if you're a mama you need to have rest days you need to have days where you just breathe you need to have days where if if for you that's spending time with the kids watching a movie whatever you feel like relaxes you do that and this year do a lot more of that okay more relaxing we're prioritizing self-care routines um you know we're having structure that allows us to breathe and no structure that allows us to go 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 because we're caring about ourselves we're taking care of ourselves because if we're good if we're cared for if we're taking care of that's the only way we can be our best selves to the people around us so this year we're doing nothing but becoming the best versions of ourselves so by so doing obviously we're prioritizing everything that allows us to have that mental rest that physical rest and all the beautiful things okay so self-care routines rest days time block of your calendar all of those things are key this year we're doing that and the last thing that i want to talk about is being intentional with your spirituality let me just say that okay i'm usually not the type to talk about religion and you know all of that stuff but i do want to say that you want to be intentional with whatever spiritual path you're on take it personal take it serious i believe in meditation i believe in listening to your conscience i believe in respecting people i believe in treating people like you want to be treated i believe in all these things whatever you believe in i want you to push for that whatever you whatever you believe in i want you to work more on that um whatever path you're on spiritually i want you to keep pushing for that i'm definitely more of a spiritual person than i am a religious person but i respect everybody's path that they're on and i encourage that whatever path you're on as a person you want to take it personal whatever spiritual path you're on you want to take it personal because the more you do you know the more you're inclined it's so beautiful like meditate as much as you can write down your intentions you know just be more in tune with your spiritual side that's just all i want to say whatever spiritual path you're on take it personal i'm not even going to lie definitely do take it personal i'm ending off today's episode by telling you that your pace is different from everybody else's pace and so you want to give yourself as much grace as you can but also giving yourself grace doesn't mean that you should be lazing about let me say that okay it doesn't mean that when you're tired you're oversleeping and saying that oh i'm gonna give myself grace and sleep for four days no <laughs> i'm just saying that okay you obviously want to stand on business but still give yourself grace while you're at it so i hope that this year becomes an amazing year for all of us um, i hope that 2024 grants you everything that your heart desires and more um, i hope that you know this year is just a year of light for all of us a year of smiles a year of good news a year of fresh energy just a breath of fresh air for all of us i'm excited to do the year with you i hope that you subscribe to the channel if you're new here
there um, I probably didn't mention my name but my name is Akusia Akusia Benhini and this is the Bear with Benhini podcast I apologize that I'm doing the intro at the end so you're welcome to the channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking and watching the video I hope you subscribe if you decide to I hope you do I would love to have you as part of the family and for my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for always coming back happy new year to all of you i love you so much and i can't wait to see you in the next video i'll see you guys in the next one cheers okay <laughs> cheers bye